Hello, my name is Matthew Harrison. I'm a farming system scientist at the University of Tasmania. In this webinar, we'll look at why would you use DSAT, the Decision Support System for Agro-Technology Transfer, a global farming systems model that's used currently in over 174 countries worldwide. So why would you use DSAT? It's, um, there's a number of different reasons why we can use it. We can use it for climate change simulations or to look at the effect of within season or long term simulations. So that's called seasonal analysis or even crop rotation analysis. So maize, soybean, maize, fallow, for example, we simulate that over 30 years. It has stochastic weather generation if you haven't got access to measured climates. So, for example, it's got a MarkSim, a stochastic weather generator, which is quite useful. It has detailed soil water components, and you can select between your soil, moist, uh, soil water module, transpiration, drainage, all sorts of output variables that you can look at. It has a detailed soil nutrient module, so it looks at nitrogen, carbon, phosphorus, potassium, uh, as well as C to N ratios, it does soil carbon and greenhouse gas emissions, which is quite useful. It has 42 different crop types, so very, very diverse in terms of its crop types. It has gene-based modelling and genetic selection, so it allows uh, manipulation or selection of crop responses to environmental conditions. It has what's called cultivar and ecotype. Uh, coefficients. So cultivars are really like things like phen phenological coefficients, photo, uh, photothermal days to flowering and photo period. Ecotypes are groups of cultivars that have similar responses to certain environmental conditions. It has all sorts of management, fertiliser, irrigation, sowing time and so on. Crop rotations which I mentioned before. It has a seasonal or risk analysis. It has economic factors, which is quite useful to look at the, you might get a high yielding crop that's not necessarily profitable. So it has the ability to look at costs. It has spatial analysis that can be through five or 30 arc minutes. Uh, and that's through a, a, a model ensemble combined with other models using a, a model called Craft. The ability to look at genotype by environment by management interactions. And for more detail on how to actually set up, set up a DSAT model from scratch, have a look at that YouTube video there at the bottom. That's all for today. Thanks very much for watching.